Hello guys and welcome to the greatest office in the world, the mighty Tyne. Right, you'd be wondering who on earth is this crazy Geordie? Well, for the majority of you who don't know who I am, my name is James Stoko and I am a salmon fishing guide on the River Tyne. And I've actually been a salmon angler since age of 13 when I caught my first ever fish. Yes, believe it or not, it was a salmon. It took me 15 minutes. I was absolutely amazed by these incredible fish, seeing my friends catch them. And it was actually one of my dad's friends invited us down the river one day just to, to have a look to see what it's like. And he hooped this incredible fish. And I just remember being amazed at this amazing bar of silver sat in the net there. Beautiful, energetic, majestic fish, which we did return in the end. Um, and he said, do you want to have a go? I said, go on then, I'll have a couple of casts. 15 minutes it took me, 15 minutes to catch my first ever salmon. I think it probably took me about 15 months to catch the next one. But salmon fishing, that's what it's all about. Why do we love it so much? These fish are like nothing else on the planet. What they go through in a lifetime, in a life cycle, is second to none. From starting in the river, is a tiny, tiny little egg hatching with no parental guidance at all. They'll stay in the river for three to four years. They actually head back out to sea fish what we call like a little salmon smolt they will head out to sea about six inches long and they'll travel all the way to greenland and norway an instinctive urge and reaction that sets in and sends them off to sea they're incredible some of them will stay there a year at sea some of them two three years and then something will click something will tell them i need to get back home and when they come back home that's when we have a look that's when we target them but they'd swim all the way back to that same river of birth, that exact same river, that tributary, that stream. The changes they go through when they enter the river is incredible. They stop feeding. They literally do not feed at all. They close their gobs and they've got one thing on their mind, go upstream, migrate. But as a salmon angler, we can get them to make a mistake. We can get them to react to a fly out of aggression, instinct, there's so many different ways we can do this, fly fishing, lure fishing. All we need to do is try and get a, an instinctive reaction from these fish and we can hook them. Hooking them is probably the, the hardest part. Playing them, you should really enjoy it, but we don't. People get uptight and all angry and aggressive and really upset when they lose fish. Um, because it's so hard to catch. Some people fish a lifetime and catch one or two fish we're lucky enough to be on in such a prolific, productive river. Um, we get a massive number of fish. We actually have a fish counter on the river, which tells us exactly how many fish have entered the system. On average, usually about 30 to 35,000. Um, I think the catch returns are usually about four to 5,000 fish, which isn't bad. Um, a lot of rivers around the, the country are struggling because these fish are in mass decline around the world due to man-made problems, predation, um, fish farms are really bad with the sea lice infestation on the fish so it is critical that we look after these fish as much as we can and as anglers we can learn quite a lot about them by catching them targeting them and um, the, the catch return ratio has gone up massively I think it's about 85 percent so the anglers attitudes have changed dramatically um, and there's so many different organizations now working to try and protect these fish from overfishing its seas, bird predation, seal predation, dolphin, whales. But the main problem is man-made. Um, overfishing, years and years and years, pollution. Um, and like was I mentioned before, fish farms have a, a massive, massive effect on these species. Um, they get what we call a, a sea lice infestation. Um, and when the juvenile fish come near the fish farms or the adult fish, these lice then attach themselves to the fish and they actually start eating them alive. So they are getting targeted, they are getting targeted by different things at many different angles. So we literally need to pull together as an angling community and do what we can. Most importantly, to educate people. We've got to start trying to put these fish back and look after them because the future of our sport, the juniors who are fishing today or that haven't even started fishing, will not be able to enjoy what we have done and are today. Um, and hopefully we can get a fish on camera for you soon. I've got one of my good friends, Keith in the background, casting. 
and I'm guiding them today. And I absolutely love this job. I couldn't do another desk job. I could not work indoors. Being outdoors is my job and I love every single second of it. I jump out of bed in the morning. I literally can't wait. I do never get the Monday blues that most people do. So fingers crossed, we can get a fish on camera for. Nice and easy, keep that thick, buddy. We've got a dropper on as well. I can't go any further in here because it's like, it, it drops off. Watch that gauge, that's all we're going to do. Watch that gauge. Get above me if you want, bud. That's it. That's it, nice. Nice. Right, can we get in next to this? Get a little bit higher up. Get a little bit higher up so I can get this down below you. Lovely, mate. All that time and blooming effort. That's a nice fish. Now, I've just got to be careful of that point fly, Keith. Come on, man. Point fly, Luke. There we go. Luke, do what the fish? Can't get him quite yet. Come on. Boom! Get in, mate. Get in, mate. Nice fish, oh, it's a reasonable size, oh, isn't it? Oh, mate. <laughs> it's a little... Get in, Keith. Good boy. Yes, sorry for getting far too overexcited. That's two days <laughs> That's brilliant, of mate. solid fishing. Fish. That's good fish. Size 14, Mirage yeah. Stoat. Put it there, bud. <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh, Keith, get well, in. Good, mate. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy, mate. I mean, that on these days, that's what it's all about. Is yeah. Like, try things. Oh. Get in there. Beautiful the fish. Oh, mate. You've grafted so hard yeah. for that. That fish has been in quite a while. Yeah. I would say that fish is coming early it's summer. Rich. What yeah, were you yeah. saying there? Got to be getting eight. Yeah, seven or eight pounds. Eight pound ish? Yeah. Well done, sir. Yeah. Over the moon. <laughs> hey, was it worth fishing there? Yeah. Yeah. The most yeah. unlikely of spots. Yeah. Amazing. And we've um, really slow, lovely take. Yeah. So a good collective lo idea. Take. We decided to come somewhere different. Look how still and calm yeah. it is. Yeah. A couple of little characteristics, a couple of little rocks, and we thought, right, we'll try it. We'll fish it slowly over there. Tiny small, little flies. We actually flies. said one more cast. Yeah. And slow figure of it, size 14. Wow. On a day where the river's quite big, it just shows you. That's why we always fish a dropper. Yeah. And that man has got his 100% record still. So I'm wow. over the moon. <laughs> oh yes. Oh boy. Right, let's get these hooks out and um, yeah. we'll get some photos if that's alright. Yeah. What was I just saying about we're going to try and get a fish and this is why I love my job. Stunning a little um, hen fish for Keith. We've, we've fished so hard for two days. Two days solid. He had one this morning and he's just had this fish here. Tiny little flies. We just changed things up a bit. But we're going to send her on our way, which is a very important fish. And Keith almost returns this fish, which is phenomenal. That's why I love him coming up. But Hopefully she will go on to spawn and her juveniles and youngsters in four to five years time will be getting caught possibly by Keith again and others. But what a stunning fish. I am over the moon and that is why I love this job so much. Come on. Come on, lass. Off she goes. Hey, she gives a hell of a scrap there. She gives a hell of a fight. Get in, mate. Oh. Well done. Oh, Keith. Ready for that, you? <laughs> that looks hilarious. That's, that's what it's all about. Get in. 